Welcome to No More Risk. There's two basic types of configurations for wet sprinkler systems. Now they both have the pipe full of water. But the one I want to focus on today is the alarm valve, also called the alarm check valve, which works in conjunction with a pressure switch. Now the alarm check valve has a clapper with two seats on it. And the space between those two seats is called the intermediate chamber. When water flows through the piping, the clapper will lift and water will flow out the intermediate chamber through this pipe, which has a path up to the pressure switch. Now obviously there is a valve here that has to be in the open position or the alarm will be disabled. You can also see that we have the two gauges that are reading about the same pressure. And there's a main drain to drain the system down if we have to take it apart. The pressure switch up here when we take the red cover off is what you see here. And the water pressure would come in, it's adjustable, and then our contacts would be made across here as soon as it senses that pressure and that sends the alarm. So let's take a look inside. To do that, I need to isolate the water, drain the system down, and then pull the cover off. Now that I've pulled the cover off, you can see the clapper that's in there. And when the water flows, the clapper goes up. What is somewhat difficult to see is that there are actually two seats. There's an outer seat, and then there's a, a part of this that seats the inner seat. And it's just a narrow gap in the intermediate chamber in here where you can, I'm able to feel where the water can go, and it'll find its way into this pipe. So I'm going to put it back together and put it back in service. All right, so now everything is back in service. No leaks on the alarm valve. Our water pressures on the gauges are back up. Our drain valve is completely closed. Our normal valve to the alarm line is open. And it's time to test it. Now we can do it two different ways. We can either simulate a sprinkler going off on the system using this inspector's test connection, or we can use this alarm test valve in the back. We'll do it both ways, but we're gonna start by opening the inspector's test. That will allow water to flow past the alarm valve, out the intermediate chamber, and find a path to the pressure switch. Remember, we are simulating one sprinkler going off anywhere on the system. And there we have our alarm. I close it slowly. Now I'm gonna go silence the alarm and then we'll come back and test it using the alarm test connection on the riser. The alarm has now been reset. Everything is back in service. We see the pressure on our gauges. This time we're gonna test it using the alarm test valve, which takes water from below the riser and sends it up to the pressure switch. And we have our alarm. I'll close it slowly. There you have it. The wet system that uses an alarm valve and a pressure switch. We saw the inner workings. We tested it simulating a sprinkler going off on the system with the inspector's test connection. And we tested it with the alarm test valve. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on No More Risk.